find the value of x. Here we have 12 is given as the long leg for 30, 60, 90. X is given as the hypotenuse. Now the key for solving a 30, 60, 90 is really finding the short leg. When you find that, you can solve for either the long leg or the hypotenuse, whichever you need. So we're going to use this 12 to figure out the short leg and then use the short leg to figure out the hypotenuse. So I know the ratio of the long leg to the short leg is square root of 3 to 1. So I'm going to make this y the length of the short leg equals 12 to y. And notice the square root 3 goes with the 12 because this is the longer leg and the longer leg is square root of 3 to 1 for the short leg. It's the ratio. So now I'll solve this. I'm going to cross multiply. The square root of 3 times y is y square root 3 equals 1 times 12, which is 12. Then I'm going to multiply both sides by square root 3, so it's going to be y times square root 3 times square root 3 equals 12 square root 3. And then square root 3 times square root 3 is square root 9, or simply 3. So y times 3 equals 12 times square root 3. Divide by 3. The 3 simplify on the left, so y equals and 12 to 3. That reduces to 4 to 1, or just 4. So you get 4 square root 3. And that is for the length of the short leg. OK, well now you can apply that short leg length to get the hypotenuse, because the hypotenuse is 2 to 1 compared to the short leg. So it's going to be x to 4 square root 3. And essentially all I'm doing here is I'm just doubling the short leg to get the hypotenuse. So 2 times 4 square root 3 is 8 square root 3. And I did this using a proportion because it helps me visualize what I'm doing. Whenever you're comparing ratios, proportion is definitely the way to go. So once again, the key to solving these 30, 60, 90 triangles, find the length of the short leg. When you find that, you can easily apply either ratio to solve for either the long leg or the hypotenuse.